welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a Primark haul with some try on clips as well so I hope you guys enjoy please like comment and subscribe and let's get on with it so now onto the fun part the Primark haul I went to Primark for the first time in ages because of my surgery and before that I was bedridden so as soon as I was feeling up to leaving the house I was like mother please can I go to Primark please so we've done some damage damage evidence one of the things is the black leggings i put on earlier they're just the cozy fluffy legging not fluffy cozy leggings that i've got about a gazillion pairs of but they're just my favorite i will say primark has gone up in price because i've not been for quite a while I was like looking for things and I was like these leggings are like five or six pounds which yes to most people is probably not much to me that's quite a lot and I was like they used to be like three pounds but anyway so primal cool. so we had those leggings and then I also I got the same cozy leggings I got them in a large just because with my SPC as well which my super pubic after my site's quite sore and anything like tight against it no thank you and also being paralyzed it's really hard to get anything tight on so i like baggier stuff even with like leggings i always like to size up but yeah so it's in this dark gray sort of material you can't really tell on the camera very well maybe if i that's a bit better you can kind of see that um but yeah so they just they what i love so much about them they have like this fluffy fluffy material and i struggle with materials due to my allodynia and crps so these i bloody love they were let me double check Ooh, six pounds next we have a dress for work which i then suddenly thought how the hell am i gonna wear a dress with an spc if i freak drain so i'm yet to work this one out but hopefully on the try and clip i'll be able to show you it's ribbed which normally no but i previously tried a dress i wear for work or for work from Primark that was ribbed and I managed okay so I'm trying to branch out a bit um and again the reason is my allodynia from my CRPS that's why um this is long sleeves I'm normally really really hot but I'm thinking in the winter it's gonna be quite cold in the salon and it's quite long um so that's the top and it goes all the way down to there so I'm trying to like imagine that I feel like it's probably calf height that's what I'm imagining. Um, and this, this was eight pounds. Well, I can't really complain. Eight pounds quite good, actually. Um, but yeah, so it's just a black, ribbed, long sleeve dress for work. I'm in tech, I work in a salon, in case you weren't aware. Then we have my staples thing that I always get from where I'm at. I either get this. Or in the winter, I get long sleeve ones because these are jerseys, so they're super soft. I did get this one. I um, sized up a couple of times because I cannot stand the feeling of tight stuff on me. It really hurts. So this is an XL. The um, the dress was large. Again, I'm just sizing up most of the stuff at least once. Um, obviously, when I try these on, I might be like, "Ha! Huh, definitely should have, have sized up," or actually, I should have sized up more. Um, I'll try and pop some little wording or voiceover on or something to let you know. But yeah, so this is four pounds. And then, so, ooh, if any of you are on TikTok, you will have seen the super fluffy velvet leggings, um, tights, leggings, I don't know. I have got them the last two years at, at Christmas or time. I just normally get the black ones. But because again they're quite tight fitting so i have a feeling my ones from last year aren't going to fit me very well with my spc now so i wanted to get some more black ones and then obviously i saw they do them in a few different colors now but the color that i liked the most didn't have in my the like largest size which is actually xl to 2xl because i thought that's probably best with them being already tight and people generally have to size up on these. I know I did last time. But they didn't have it in my first um, my first colour choice. Or my second. But I wanted to buy in the size that I thought would fit the most a colour as well. Just to see. Because 
I wanted to get one in the colour I wanted and then the size I wanted so I could compare which size is best. But I ended up with three. So this is the colour I really wanted. Don't ask me why I love this so much. But it's just like a creamy, like very pale beige, but creamy as well. And I just really like it. Like, very not me. Um, it's £7, by the way, which is um why the price went up quite a bit. So they've just got like this fluffy lining. Which, being a wheelchair user in the winter, you get so cold because your legs aren't moving. Then there's my CRPS, so I love these for the comfort. But yeah, so that's my favourite one. And the outside is just quite just smooth. And then the second colouring I like, my mum said these would be good. Um, so these just look like denim, essentially. So they're a bit textured, which I don't know if I'm going to like or not. But it's the outside, so I should be alright. Again, fluffy inside, £7 again. Again, in the large to extra large, which I don't know if it's going to be big enough to comfortably fit on. My mum said these might be not quite nice. I like little shirts. So because it's denim, it might look like I'm almost wearing jeans, which I don't wear jeans because of the material. And it would, I just can't be asked to wiggle 70,000 times to get them on. Um, so these might be a good alternative. And then the, the, the only colour in the size I thought I'd need, which is the extra large to 2XL, just comfortably fix i can't yeah i'm just like i'm going on and on but i just don't like things being tight so it's this which it's not bad it's not an ugly color like it would go with stuff but i also can't think of stuff that it would go with even though probably go, mm -hmm. probably go with shirts as well actually it might look like i've just got black jeans on but yeah i'm hoping to only keep one pair or two pairs at max of these so i need to try them on work out size wise what's the situation but i have a feeling if they all fit all right even though they're different sizes i feel like i'm going to be a nightmare i want to keep them all but they're two different sizes so i should be able to find fault with one of them <laughs> but that's that ignore how red i am i've been trying on all the clothes and i'm exhausted but so with the fluffy um leggings beige ones fit the best but they were the smaller size so I definitely think I'm going to size up but the size up were the black ones and they were smaller they were really hard to get on they were smaller and I don't really know why I haven't tried these on because they're the same size as the beige pair but I've gone and looked for my black ones from last year which I've checked the size they're large to extra large so the same size as the beige ones, smaller than the black ones. And they fit, like, they fit better than all of them. So the largest size I had there was smaller than these, even though these are the beige smaller size. I don't know why the beige not. The beige are the same size, that so they should be fine, but they're not. I mean, they were, but it was just the very top of the waistband was so tight. Like, I could stretch it, but because of how sensitive I am to touch, I prefer a size up. So, um, next time I'm in Primark, I'm going to see if I can get beige and size up. But I'm not sure about the other two, because literally, they were really tight to get on. Like, almost felt like putting jeans on, which defeats the object of it, because it's so hard for me to get them on. I'm going to quickly show you the black from last year. So these are the black, and they, um, they're a bit, like, they're not, not baggy as such, but, like, they can stretch a lot still. It's, again, like a, this kind of waistband, which I find, if it's there for a while, it's, like, a lot of pressure. But I normally wear with these with the skirt, by the way. I don't wear them on their own, either with the skirt or joggers on the top when it's really really cold but yeah so the black ones i'm just trying, trying to um, sort out everything and i'm just a bit confused because i adore the beige ones and um, so hopefully the next time my mum goes to prime she can i think fingers, fingers crossed get the beige ones in a larger size and they should be okay 
It's just if she could find them. It's when we went, this was the biggest size they had. Um, but yeah. And then we have these bottoms, which are it's supporting breast cancer. I didn't even realise that. Oh. Are oh, just some jersey in the pyjama section. Absolutely giant these are because I got them in an XL because yes we see again I'm very very like extra oh so and these are wide leg like that they're baby pink they're just so like flimsy soft in a in the best way possible um but yeah I did size up in these even though they are big um I just thought that might be best and these are just sort of round the house comfy going to Austria going to Innsbruck with Maisie these might be quite cute as like PJ bottoms so see, normally at home I wear a vest top and some little PJ shorts but I'm thinking it's probably it well it will be cold there so it might even be like long bottoms PJs weather which is like major for me I get so hot and then on the topic of PJs just you guys wait I caved so these I mainly got these for the bottoms. They are, they are literally fluffy. They're pale blue, but they always have like a lilac tinge. But they're very pastel blue, cuffed bottoms, elastic waistband. I think I got these in an XL because of my fat arms, because it also comes with the top. So the top's like that, long sleeve. So I'm not sure how much use I'll get out of the top. But it's cute again might wear it in austria in the um hotel obviously cuffed um arms fluffy inside but it's got this like bobbling which i can't tell if i like that or if that's gonna really irritate me but these are the pants the pants the bottoms and these are oh my god i hope they fit because these are coming to austria with me like oh my god this is what heaven is Oh god, I've forgotten the prices. Um the price of these. So these were quite expensive to me. These are twelve pounds. But I'm sure to most people, PJ bottoms, um, that also support breast cancer awareness. I feel like twelve pounds is probably actually really good. But when you're a cheapskate like me, it feels a lot of money. Um but yeah, and then these oh nine nine pounds, so cheaper than these for the top and the bottom. That's why I went for it. And then the very last thing, my mum for some reason talked me into this. Um, it's a ring light. It was down from six pounds to three pounds. I've got one that works kind of fine anyway, but one that's really rubbish. I use them for nail photos, and my mum talked me into this. I'm like, mum, why? But um, I haven't opened it yet. I'm just gonna open it so you guys can actually see. We can see it. Oh god, I'm making this look so hard to open. It's really not as hard as I'm making it look, I promise. Um, oh, I'm intrigued if it's a battery or a um, charge-up one, actually. Let's have a look. It's going to be a battery, isn't it? So it's a black one, or mine are white. Yeah, it's battery, isn't it? How the hell do I open that? Oh, it's like that. You need triple A batteries for it. Um, but yeah, so it just sort of clips on the phone. It's great for nail photos and for vlogging as well, to be honest. Um, so that is the end of my Primark try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and this helped you out a bit so you know what your Primark has. If there's anything I've not given prices for or not given enough info for, just comment down below or pop me a message on my instagram i'm always checking my dms there and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye